Hi, everyone. Welcome to the first matchup of the NBA Cup. There is a lot of excitement in this building tonight. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brett Beard. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Taking a look at Cleveland, they've achieved some upward momentum, climbing to the fifth spot on the board. Well, I think for Los Angeles, they made their presence felt right from the opening tip. Taking matters into their own hands and showing no let up. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. The athletic front court pair. Wiggins alongside Kaminga. Heald is out there with Pajemski. And it's Reed in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Los Angeles, down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. Then it's Austin Reed. Then it's MP. And it's Rick Schifino in at the point guard. We've seen it already this season. MP has an elevated intent to win. Anytime he's matched up against one of the league's power teams. You know what? He loves these kind of challenges. And I don't expect him to hold anything back tonight. With the success they've had in these tough games. that momentum and a little extra at stake tonight as this is the first game of the nba cup group stage for each of these teams and both coaches want to get that first win under their belt with only four games in this stage the tournament doesn't give you much room for error here's reed following the basket by mp look at the defense on display there from davis lines up the shot and with perfect timing swats it away the basket counts and one will go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Los Angeles shooting their first foul shot of the night. We throw no good for MP. Four years have gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Healed can't hit. That's 0 for 4 now. Time to slow it down and maybe get the best possible shot the next time down. MP no good. Not a problem when that's your first miss of the game. Strong start. Back to Pajemski to stop the run. Doesn't go, and he's 0-1 from the field. For Los Angeles, they've gone 4 of 5 from the field so far. And MP gets it to go on the assist by Reeves. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And we've got a timeout called by Steve Kerr. He wants to talk to his guys. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Briefly spoke with J.J. Redick. They were raving about an opposing player. In this case, Andrew Wiggins. Coach said, I have tons of respect for Wiggins. 100% effort on both ends. Andrew can beat you scoring it, but he can also be a shutdown defender. High praise for Wiggins, the former first overall pick. Kevin? Thank you, David. Here's Heald, following the basket by MP. Pass to Pajemski. Shoots it. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Finally, after all those clanks, someone comes through for him. Yeah, the point is to score, so getting that first one, that always helps. And for such a young player, Brandon Pajemski has a mature game. Well, Kevin, his intellect out on the floor, I think, is at an elite level. Brandon does such a good job of hovering around the basket to get rebounds. He advances the ball with the pass. He's driving and always looking for angles. So this is an advantage-created player. And Brandon does a great job of it. Just how awesome is it to watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game? to Wiggins. Kaminga sets a screen for Wiggins. Drills the three-pointer. Well, right now, helping the offense out by creating space. Andrew Wiggins deadly enough from that spot. And here's MP for three. Andrew Wiggins pulls it in. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. They trail by 11. Fresh from a win against Portland. And in that one, the backups came to play. Gave the team an infusion of points that just put them over the top. Well, I talked to the assistant coaching staff. What they were stoked about is that the bench guys came in and played well. So punch off the bench, a big factor in that win. 
And here are the Warriors now, following the bucket by the Lakers. Wiggins kicks to Kaminga. No good on the three. Lakers lead by 13. MP with it. Now defended by Wiggins. Two points. That one goes. MP's got 18 points in the game. And what a night to remember for MP. Still so young, this guy could have many nights like this in the future. Back to Pajemski. Reeves against Teal. Golden State moving it around. Shot by Pajemski, no good. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. MP, no good. Warriors trail by 15. Now Pajemski. He's coming off a 22-point game against Portland. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So his passing right up there on the level with his scoring in that one. MB getting it done for the Lakers. What an amazing quarter. There was absolutely no stopping him. And don't go away. We'll be... And so far through... Jay Reddick calls timeout here. This will give him a chance to discuss some potential alterations. They've got MP, Jared Vanderbilt out there with James. And there's Christie, and it's Hood Shafino in at the one. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Here's Pajemski. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And now we're being joined by our 2K insider, Shams Charania, who's calling in with a good story. Shams, what do you have? Well, guys, teams are all grappling with this new CBA, especially the dreaded second apron. Fans possibly unclear on what it means. Honestly, even front offices are still navigating the complexities of the new restrictions. But basically, it has become harder for teams to spend big and acquire new players under the current systems. We'll see, guys, how this impacts everyone moving forward. Something to keep an eye on, no doubt. All right, Shams, thanks a lot. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey, guys, MP in the last game against Boston put on a show. He finished with 57 points, and he was really dialed in from three-point land, making a lot of long ones. Those were ridiculous numbers he put up. See what he has in store for an encore. Can't wait to see. Kevin? David, we appreciate the update. Greg, we'll see if he can keep rolling here tonight. Yeah, and that's the rub. When he's in rhythm, he can carry your team across the line. And you want to see him make sure that the teammates are also involved in what they're doing, especially if he draws that much attention. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Pass to Santos, tipped away, and stolen by MP. And the shot goes in. MP's got 27 points. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. And the Warriors miss again. Lakers leading by 18. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played, makes it off the glass. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. And we've got a timeout called by Steve Kerr. And coach has decided they need a moment to talk things over. Changes for the Lakers. Anthony Davis is checked in for Vanderbilt. Hachimura comes in for LeBron. And it's Austin Reeves in for Christie. 124 left in the first half. Wiggins outside. Over to the wing. 
here's Pajemski, covered by MP. Pass to Kaminga, five on the clock. Here's Reed. No good again that time. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in cracking this huge lead. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. A nice shot by MP. The desire to win, it, it fuels MP. It, he doesn't let anything get in his way. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. The Warriors have converted one of two free throws so far today. And, and their free throw percentage as a unit last year, 76%, right around the middle of the road. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Pajemski, and it's thrown down hard with both hands. And then the young fella busts out the slick move inside to get open for the jam. Greg, that was slick and slick. The D had no chance. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Pajemski's shot is good. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. MP right outside. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers holding a 22-point lead as the quarter wraps up. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. We've got more in store for you right after this. Good to see you, and welcome a lot. They have to lock it down defensively. Giving up great shots is a great way to lose a game. And if you're disruptive at that end, it creates trans. And now let's take a moment to see how the... And that is a wrap. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority in half time. And on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half. The athletic front court pair. Wiggins alongside Kaminga. Pajemski out there with Buddy Heald, and it's Reed in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Team throw good MP you should see MP here a lot with how physical he plays the game into the lane and he jams it with authority yeah just solid work on the back end of that play yep you're right finish hard with two hands on that stuff launches it drills it from outside MP's got 42 in the game He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Back to Pajemski. Outside, Kuminga. Over LeBron. Kuminga, no good. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Greg, as you were saying, beyond the blocks, what makes Anthony Davis special on defense is the way he navigates the floor. Kevin, most bigs can get picked on in pick and roll action. Davis, though, too quick and smart to take advantage of. He can slip screens, hedge, switch, and recover like he's a 3 and D wing. Chalk up two there. MP's got eight points in the quarter. And not wasting any time here, kicking their offense right back in the gear. That's three of four from the field. Timeout called the Warriors. These 
teams were last season's best passers. The squads with the most assists in the NBA. The Lakers second, number five, the Warriors. Both teams really good at passing the basketball. You look at the numbers from a season ago, very unselfish. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Wiggins finds Pajemski. They double him with LeBron. Takes a three. Buries it from three-point range. Pajemski's got 16. And Wiggins' game continues to evolve. You saw that right there. Good eye movement around the shooter. Yet another bucket in close. That's how he's earning his points today. The Warriors have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Outside, Kaminga fires the three. Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got six rebounds in the game. And here's MP for three. And that one falls coming off of Davis's speed. MP's got 49 points in the game. Golden State's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Golden State moving it around. They kick out to heel. Back to Kaminga. Pass to Pajemski. Five to shoot. Shot by heel. Nobody around. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Well, that's a guy you want to find. Buddy healed with the response from three. And another one falls. Well, he's been firing on all cylinders and the defense helpless to keep up. And this gives him alone the third most 50-point games in league history. That is some elite company. Yeah, and sitting between Jordan and Kobe, when those are your peers, I think you're doing all right. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, we all know the Lakers have to pound the ball inside. LeBron James says, we have attackers. That's who we are. That's what we do. We're not shooting 40 to 53s a game. We don't have the luxury of being that team. Working it into the paint, that's what we're really good at. Kevin, they play to their strengths. They got a lot of strength. Got to do it. Thanks, D.A. Healed outside on the wing, Wiggins. Outside, Kaminga. Pass to heel. There's the triple. It's hauled in by LeBron. LeBron's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. 13 feet away. MP again. MP's got 59 points. The, the defense has just been unable to slow him down. Wow. What a game. Kaminga with a wide open look. And the Warriors miss again. And still, he's scoreless. But they could use just a little bit of help. Good, he hits again. And there aren't many players in history with the ability to put up 60. And he's done it multiple times this season. He's taken volume scoring to a whole new level. A shot by Pajemski, no good. Well, his shots aren't dropping, and they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough Keep going to him. See if he can find him. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. A shot by Pajemski, no good. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the fourth. And MP throws it down. Get used to seeing that over the next 10 plus seasons. MP taking flight. Pajemski, the bounce pass. Shot to stop the run. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Pajemski's got 19 points. And so it's MP making things happen for the Lakers. 18 points from three-point range for him in that quarter. That is some... And a moment ago inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. He gained control. Come on now. Every pass, every possession, play with a purpose. We talked about this, all right? Solid play, every time, right now. He checked in for Gabe Vincent. Keep going out there, no let up. Get 
Here's MP. Hachimura out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then there's Christie. Then there's Pokushevsky. And it's MP in at the two spot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. The Warriors shooting a pretty sorry 29% from the floor here. Takes a step back. Outside, Kaminga. Wiggins from outside. Rebound the Lakers. Hakusevsky's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's MP. And that one goes. Incredible. 71 points and no end in sight. Young fella is in the zone. The, the defense right now looks helpless. Pass to Wiggins. Cloak loose and stolen by MP. And another one. And this game has his name written all over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal in offensive onslaught. Healed the pass to Kaminga. Back to Heald. And here's Reed. It's stolen by Vanderbilt. The finish. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. And he throws it down hard with one hand. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Lakers. Fewer miscues made the difference. I mean, a great all-around effort. Not only did they minimize their turnovers, but kept the pressure up on D, forcing the other team to commit turnovers. And now, for the year, this is going to take them to seven wins. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for MP. Well, those points he had tonight, all critical, all from energy and activity. He just never seemed to stop. Here's Pachemski. A three-pointer, no good. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no cover. And the dunk by MP. Saw the opportunity to put this away, and you could see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Heald from outside. Sinks the three-pointer. And you love how Heald is always ready with his feet set. Once the ball hits his hands, it's off. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game. Connects again! And that puts him even the third on the single-game scoring list. Simply amazing. I I'm at a loss for words. Greg, his has been one of the greatest offensive games we'll ever see. Reed with a screen on Vanderbilt. Two open that time. Made it look too easy and smart decision by Hill. Surveys the defense and then just takes it himself. And good! He hits it again! And he's now outmatched his own single game record for points with a staggering offensive onslaught. I think the defense is just as stunned as we are. Words fail to describe the magnitude. He is putting in the work with a little overtime and this game is sure to leave a mark. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. And tonight, not just a regular season win, it also counts in the NBA Cup standing. And if you look at the teams that advance and the... Great win tonight, MP.